So we had a pretty sneaky release from NVIDIA recently, and frankly, I don't know why they haven't been talking about it more, because this is pretty exciting. Basically, it's a six gigabyte version of the RTX 3050. Now, as we can see from this comparison over here, uh, naturally, this is, this is a six gigabyte version of the RTX 3050. So all of its specs are exactly the same, except for the memory, which is six gigabyte instead of eight gigabyte. The main reason for me that I wanted to think about this as being a good card was seeing RTX on a card that costs not too much more than a GTX 1650. You know, once I saw that, I was thinking, okay, great. This is going to be our new standard for our affordable end of our Apollo workstation. Our standard go-to graphics card for most people for twin motion is an RTX 4060. It covers most of the bases and if your budget allows it, then get a better card. But sometimes your budget doesn't even allow it. 4060. Or you're just working on smaller projects. You're going to be viewing twin motion projects more than you are going to be actually working on them rather than getting a lower end card like a 1650 1660 here's a card that would be even better for that purpose considering you get to save a couple thousand rand while also getting the benefit of ray tracing so now that we've got the real stats over here let's talk about the actual difference so it, it's called an rtx 3050 6 gig and so you know they, they changed the vram from 8 gig to 6 gig but with all of these other differences it's got me thinking about how many of the other specs you can change while still giving it the same product name from what i've seen the performance of this card is actually lower than the gtx 1660 ti which is a few years old and is also about the same price the thing about this that's extra frustrating to me is that at higher price ranges we're able to give extremely high performance to the point that systems that would have cost us about 80,000 Rand last year have now come down to like mid 50s. Like, I mean, if you look at a spec like one of our Vulcans with an Intel i9 14900K and with an RTX 4070 and 96 gigs of RAM, you're getting higher performance than any desktop that was available last year, even if it had an RTX 3090, but it costs so much less. Now our Apollos feature the same Z790 board that is a standard in our Vulcan range. 14th gen Intel CPUs give much higher performance than the generations before. And then there's also the support for the larger RAM modules, currently 48 gigs of RAM multiplied by four. So you can have a total of 192 with even 96 gigabytes being a huge amount. So we are really proud of ourselves that even with all of the benefits that I just mentioned, the price for the Apollo is about the same as it was last year. But we are hoping for bigger drops in the future. We've been waiting to see something like an RTX 4050 that's going to give us performance similar to a 3060, but at a lower price. So where this leaves us now is that the RTX 3050 8 gig is still going to be our standard recommendation for Twin Motion and Revit. And if we find some kind of niche case where the 6 gigabyte version is useful, then maybe we'll consider that. But at the moment, the RTX 3050 8 gigabyte just seems like the best option for us because it is the most affordable RTX card available, which is, in our opinion, necessary for the kind of software that we build systems for. I was really excited to make a video about how this GPU is a complete game changer. It's just going to make RTX more accessible. It's going to allow more people to work with Twin Motion pretty much exactly what the RTX A2000 was for Quadro, this is that for GeForce. It's a nice stopgap between a GTX series card and something more expensive like a 4060. It just turns out that that's not the case. We're really interested in hearing your thoughts on the RTX 3050 at 6 gig though. We know that it's quite a disappointment for gamers especially, but in terms of workstation users, it would be interesting to hear if there might be any particular use cases that we perhaps have missed. And of course, if you're looking to purchase a high performance workstation, that is built specifically for your workflow, definitely contact us on info at modernacomputers.com and we will help you spec out the ideal system for your workflow. Thanks again.